If you're looking for the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins on the market, be sure to check out AOEAH.com. Be sure to use discount code DSG at checkout for 3% off your order. Link will be in the description and the pinned comment down below. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is DSG or Command today with the Madden 22 video. And today, I'm going to be teaching you guys some of the best coin making methods right now in Madden 22. In case you guys don't know, here in the channel, all I do is post no money spent methods. So if you're looking for coins, train points, or XP, this is the place to be. Because, like I said, all I do is post no money spent methods. As always, if you have any questions and what I talk about in today's video, make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll answer comments as soon as possible. So today is going to be kind of a chill video, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're just going to go over some basic coin making methods. We're going to mess around with the rerolls a little bit, and then we're going to open a pack up at the end of the video. So, kind of a fun video, I guess. Nice and chill. Uh, and then we'll talk about the channel a little bit at the end. I'm not going to lie. I forgot I had school this week, so I didn't have any videos ready for this week. So, that's my bad. My bad. But, uh, you know, videos coming this weekend, all stuff like that. We will be prepared for next week. So, let's get into this. So, I know a lot of you guys probably had weekend league monthly rewards yesterday. I had a couple packs I could open. I kind of slacked over the last three, three or four weeks here. So, uh, I didn't have a ton to open, but if you guys had some packs to open, let me show you guys what to do with those packs. Now, I'm going to give you guys a couple options here, all right? Either one of these Team Affinity uh, team builders, you know, Team Diamonds, whatever, are good. It, they're, you know, it's fine, whatever, right? Or, I'm sorry, either one of these two are good, okay? Some of, the, some of the cards in this are actually pretty decent. I know in the past, the Broncos have had a good one because the Broncos are one of the best team teams right now in the game, surprisingly, all right? I'm sure the Cowboys also have a decent... Uh, you know, price range on these guys right here because they are a pretty popular theme team. As well as the Raiders right down, wherever they are, right here. The Raiders will always go for a little bit because they have a good theme team. Same thing over here, right? For me personally, I have probably, I've done this, you know, probably not a hundred times, but I've done this a lot, okay? Doing this Raiders theme team one right here and just picking, uh, or I'm sorry, not the Raiders, the Falcons one, wherever the Falcons one is. Uh, because of Keith Smith. So I've done this one probably not a hundred times, but I've definitely done this quite a bit. So this is a great one you guys can do to make coins just like Keith Smith because uh, he goes on the Raiders team team and you just basically build the set. These are these are just getting cheaper and cheaper to do. Uh, however, the cards are also getting cheaper and cheaper on the market. So, you know, you're not going to make a ton of coins every time you do this, but over time those coins will accumulate and this is just something you can quickly do. Let's say, like, in between head-to-head -head games, you just complete the set and sell the card. You go play a head-to-head -head game, come back. You guys can do here and there to get a couple thousand coins uh, just here and there playing the game. You know, something pretty simple, uh, and that can work like that. Also, some things people are doing right now, because there are some expensive power-ups, and this is not, you know, a terrible thing to do at all. Uh, and I've seen this method done quite a bit. So if you have, like, your, you know, even just from your weekend monthly rewards, you come over to the team or into into sets right here and you just start building up those that I like to call it pack trash you know the cards you're never going to use those silvers and golds and you just put them into these player exchange sets and work your way up into getting you know some of the more high expense or high overall cards right maybe you build all the way up to 80 uh, 80 to 82 so you can put cards into that team builder set right so you, you exchange all of your bad cards up until this one right here and then you do that team builders exchange set uh, for that Keith Smith right and you can pull some good power-ups in these in these uh, sets right here, like Aaron Rodgers. I got an Aaron Rodgers the other day out of my Weekend League Awards going for like 12000 right? Pretty good award. As well as a Deion Sanders. I got one who's going for about ten k. So there are definitely some good rewards you guys can get just from doing these sets right here. And it takes, you know, no time at all just to complete this. So all of your pack trash can go right in here. Another method you guys can do to get some power-ups, and, you know, it is a risk, but you guys can make coins from doing this if you just simply come over here. And you can open whatever packs you want. Personally, if you're going to do this method, I recommend doing the Pro Fantasy Pack. Uh, I'll just go ahead and show you guys this right now. So you, you can do Pro Fantasy Packs. You can do Get a Gold. However, it doesn't work as good as Pro Fantasy, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, the Campus Hero stuff is in the game now, and that is not that expensive. These don't look like they're going to be anything insane, though. With, you know, a 91 plus odds at only 5.5%. That is a little low, in my opinion. So I would not open these up. Just my opinion. I feel like these promo packs are never that good, either. So... Personally, the method I'm about to show you guys, I would use the Pro Fantasy Pack. So what you do is you open just one of these, right? You can open however many you want. Uh, usually, you're only going to make about five, no more than 10,000 coins back from these. Which is fine. All right, that's as expected. They're the cheapest packs in the store. They're never going to be that great. So we are really looking for like, you know, you know, power ups. Most of these power ups are not going to go for anything like this guy. I guarantee he goes for nothing. Uh, Royce Newman, I don't know who that guy is. You know, my apologies to Royce Newman. I don't know who you are. I don't pay attention to the NFL that much. I'm not going to lie. So that's probably why. But I'm going to take him. 
And then you're just going to take like golds and silvers, the highest overall cards you can find. So like those guys, you're obviously praying for a high overall card, but you don't need it. This could be something really good. It's of course it's not. It's my luck. I don't have good luck opening packs, but uh, you know, you just take the highest overall cards. So, you know, you do that and then you go into that team builders thing and you put all those cards into the team builder set to try to make your coins back. All right, you know, the team builder thing I showed you earlier on in the video. Another thing you guys can do is, you know, with those silvers that you get, you can build your silvers up into putting, you know, into getting golds and then putting those golds in the team builder set. All right, so all that stuff we just got, we can put it into this team builders thing right here or like those silvers we come out and we just simply put it into the, where, where was it even at? Where am I? What am I doing? Right over here into the exchange and putting those silvers into these, you know, slots right here. So that's that. Uh, I wouldn't risk a ton of coins if you're not making a ton of coins back from that pro fantasy thing Obviously, it is completely luck based, but there is potential for making coins doing that method So I just thought I'd share that with you guys today uh, If you find it helpful, let me know down below any of these methods you find helpful Let me know down below or if you have a method you want to submit to me and if I find that method is good I will give you a special shout out uh, if I find that method is you know pretty pretty useful So if you guys have any methods leave one down in the comments anything like that You can even uh, shoot, shoot me a DM on Instagram. I will reply to that and uh, I usually check my Instagram like a couple times a week, probably three, four times a week. So if you have any, you know, methods you want to share with me, let me know down below. And I will give you a special shout out at the beginning of the video saying, hey, this is, you know, so-and-so's method. And I really like this method and I'll show you guys how to do the method. So, yeah, I'd really appreciate if you guys could do that. If you have any, I'm going to do some more like digging and researching on this Campus Heroes uh, promo. How to make coins from doing this. We are going to experiment that with that today right now. And we are going to see how good these training rerolls are. So, obviously, we know like, bro, those campus here are the, uh, the zero chill uh, rerolls were absolutely absurd. Like, they were so, so good. Uh, I already don't like these, uh, like, already. I already hate these. Tw 2,700 training points for an 85 or higher. I, I don't like these very much. What are my odds of getting? Okay, it doesn't show my odds. I don't like that. That's, that's, that seems pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie. We're just going to open two or three of these. Pro I can think I can only afford two. So, I know I'm not going to get anything good out of this. How much did this even quick sell for? 710? Oh my gosh. Yeah, bro. These are not good. Unless the odds are insane, these are terrible. That's just my personal opinion. I'm only going to open one more. I know this is a really small sample size, but the odds on these seem, yeah. No, I don't like that at all. That seems a little too expensive. For me personally, I would have put these at about 2,100. Because uh, that, that's pretty expensive, not going to lie. Let's see how much these guys are going for real quick. Uh, I don't know what the odds are yet on those training rerolls either. Usually they're about between like a 1 in 30 and a, like a 1 in 50. Uh, somewhere in that range. So they're not always the best. Okay, but yeah, these are bad. So if you want to do just one of those things, you have to be able to afford an 88 overall card or like an 89 overall player for, for every reroll. And you're getting an 85 back most of the time. So me personally, I'm going to hold on to this 85 overall card. If I have anywhere to put it, I'll put it there, but I don't know. You know, I'm just going to quick sell. I really don't care. That was a waste of training. I'm not going to lie. So, you know, in my personal opinion, don't do those rerolls. That's just me, but do whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to do more research. When I fight, when I figure out, you know, on Twitter or whatever, what the odds are on these training rerolls, I will let you guys know down below. Like I said, usually they're like a 1 in 30 or like a 1 in 50, somewhere in that range of a chance of pulling the highest overall card, right? Like a 94 overall card. So just keep that in mind. All right, the odds are not going to be very good on these. So uh, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, you know, I'm just going to open up one more Pro Fantasy pack at the end of this video because, like I said, I would open a pack at the end. So I'm going to start doing that. At the end of all my videos, I'm just going to rip open, like, a Pro Fantasy or something like that. Nothing super expensive, but why not? Let's have some fun. Uh, I've got coins to spend. I think I'm going to do a Valentine's Day going... Well, I can't, why can't I pronounce that? A Valentine's Day coin giveaway. I think doing the Thanksgiving and New Year's one is just too close together. So I think I'll do one on Valentine's Day. That's the plan. So I'll announce that probably beginning of february uh and that also lets me be able to build up my coins and my team a little bit right after new year's so this is also kind of like a dead point in the game where we just aren't getting a ton of content so you know there's just there's just not a lot going on right now so it's kind of hard to find coin making methods when there's no content in the game this seems like it's not that great of a pack right now this could be really good but it's not going to be i can just tell cs yeah, 78 overall so uh we're just gonna take kevin green we'll probably just sell him straight up so uh yeah you know, usually I'm not going to post content when there is nothing to upload. Like, honestly, I probably wouldn't even post anything this week anyways. Maybe, like, one video, like a training video. Uh, but, like I said, I only really post videos when there are methods in the game. When there's content and there's methods in the game, that is when I post. I don't like posting, you know, rushed videos or videos I don't have anything planned for. Because I feel like that's just a waste of your time and it's a waste of my time. And we don't do that around here. We are straight business. 
you know, we are here to make coins and get better at the game. So hope you guys can understand why, you know, I'm not going to post when there's not the content. All right. Hope you guys understand that. Uh, I know some days I can post gameplays, which I probably will. But gameplays, you know, as you guys know here on the channel, are pretty uh, scarce. But I would like to post more gameplays. So here are the shots from the last video. Uh, let me pull up the comments right now. Here they are. We have uh, Mini Films, uh, Tyler Kovic, uh, Ducks Visuals, Mule Dolphin Thing, uh, Tucker Skeleton, uh, Rylan, The Athletic Channel, Obey, Fortnite Gameplays, Frosted Brady, George Washington, Moopin Fiji, The Athletic Nation, Yolk Face, Reflex, Hunt Awakens, and The Champ. Thank you all so much for commenting on this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll talk to you later. Stay safe for me, and peace out.